Hi, this is Dan Olds, and it's time to get to know Team ETH Zurich. Uh, this is, I believe, your third competition, I yes. think? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Amir, can you introduce yourself and tell me what you do for the team? Hello, uh, I'm Emir. I'm from, I study at ETH Zurich, Switzerland. I'm originally from Turkey. Um, in team, in ISC, this competition, I'm working on Elmer, although I couldn't start with the competition so far due to exams, mm. since they've been moved online and the competition has moved to the beginning of, of June as well. You need but to give up, you need to give up on those exams. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but fortunately, the competition is for roughly three weeks, so I'm yeah. just starting to do the stuff tomorrow. Very um, cool. How's Elmer working out? Is it so you haven't you haven't really started it yet? Um, I have previously worked with it on our cluster, okay. so I am not expecting it to be too much. But the cluster in Singapore differs a bit from. Our environment, so yeah. I guess the operating system and the kernel version are a bit different. So those are going to be challenging to run the applications and compile the applications. And you've got uh, plenty of GPUs to use. In, in the on cluster, the, you mean? Yeah, on the DFX1, DGX1. Unfortunately, only four. There's only four in there? I thought there were eight. Mm -hmm. There's only four. Uh, like, four. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, normally we we would have planned with twelve GPUs on our own cluster, but currently there are only four GPUs available for all teams. So. Okay, okay. So Jin Fen, tell us a little bit about you. Hi, I'm Jin Fen. I'm from China. Uh, I study at what, the what, what part of China? Uh, from the middle, Chengdu, Sichuan. I've been there. Nice town. I know it. Okay. City of Pandas. Yes. So what do, you, what do you do for the team? Yeah, I'm mainly responsible for AI task. Okay. I've been downloading this large uh, Gutenberg corpus for pre-training and also the uh, news QA corpus from Microsoft for fine-tuning. But unfortunately, the role has been changed, so I couldn't use them. Oh. So now we've been like doing hyperparameter hyper search as a guideline tells us, but we also managed to find other tricks to, to get a better performance or try to get a better performance without uh, obliving the rules. So. I like that. I like that. Look for every edge you can. Good job. So, Manuel, tell us about yeah. you. Hi, I'm Manuel. I'm uh, from Switzerland. I also study at ETH Zurich. Um, and uh, during the competition, I've been most, usually I'm the benchmark guy. So, uh, but now there are no benchmarks. No benchmarks. Unfortunately, but so I've been mostly responsible for the coding challenge. Okay. And uh, so we've been work, trying to work different angles there. Also, there have been some rule changes. Like uh, we've been uh, we have, we've been trying lots of stuff with vectorization, but now there we, now there are GPUs allowed. So we are trying to get something running with using GPUs because uh, we think it's very well parallelizable. Sure. Uh, this thing. And uh, yeah, it's looking good, good so far, though. I like that. I like that. Jan, let's talk to you. Yeah, hi. I'm Jan. I'm from Germany, but also study in uh, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. I also worked mostly on the programming challenge with Manuel. Um, we tried, like he said already, the GPU uh, kernels and the uh, vectorization. And I also mm -hmm. worked a bit with Changa. But yeah, it looking, it's looking good so far. The late edition of the GPUs for the programming challenge is now like switch up, it switched us up a bit. Now we're trying to do that again. We had the idea in the beginning, but then they said we're not allowed to, so we switched back to vectorization, and now we're back onto GPUs. Okay, okay. Little bumps in the road. Yeah, you're going to have those, yeah. So Simon, what's your story? Hi, I'm Simon. I'm originally from Germany, but I've been living in Switzerland for more than 10 years now, and I okay. also study at ETH. My role in the team is I work on Elmer, and once Elmer is finished, I will start working on the Tinker HP challenge. Okay, okay. How's that been going so far with Elmer? Um, I actually started compiling Elmer on the Singapore cluster, but got some kind of compiler error, and I still need to check out what exactly went wrong. Mm. But 
but I think it's just a minor mistake yeah. that I made somewhere. Sure. Misplaced colon, misplaced hyphen, something like that, I'm sure. You'll figure it out. Yeah. So, Lucas, what's up with you? Hi, I'm Lucas. Um, so, I'm mainly focused on the AI challenge, and I'm also looking into Gromax. Okay, okay. You know, with everybody running on the same hardware, your optimizations are going to be key. Yeah. It's the only thing that's going to separate you from the other teams. Is that a little scary? It's a different challenge. I mean, normally we, we could also work a lot on tuning our own, own hardware and deciding what hardware we bring. Um, but now it's just a different challenge. Now it's really everyone has the same hardware and how do yeah. you compile so it really fits on that, that hardware. And um, it's a different challenge. So it's also exciting. But it's, it's going to be, it's probably going to mean much closer scores, I yeah, would we think. Yeah, that. Especially mm -hmm. on the applications, we, we don't think there will be that much variability in there. Like for the coding challenge and for yeah. the AI challenge, maybe some teams manage to get some edge. But yeah. um, I mean, our, yeah, our assumption is that for the applications, it will be quite close. And it puts more value on things like the official judges interview too. Oh, oh. I mean, right? That's 10% that's that you need to get all of. Right. Right? Uh, and the innovation challenge, which is new, to tell them what innovative stuff you've done. Those are some points you need to get as well. Uh, any, um, anything big that you've learned so far? I mean, in what on regard? the side of the AI challenge, we actually did a lot of um, innovation in the beginning when the, when the rules were more open. Yeah, um, not so much innovation, now the rules closed. <laughs> how, have your, how, have your, uh, how have your coaches been doing? Have they been passing on knowledge to you? Yeah, to some extent. I mean, I, th I think in general we're quite an independent team, but when we, when we struggle somewhere, when we want to advise for direction, that's when they really help us. And plus, I mean, four of you are pretty are experienced in this too. You know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. 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 This is definitely that that has helped. But now it's very different from the previous ones because we have yes. very late access to the cluster we're working on. So uh, we have very little time to actually optimize the things for the cluster we're working on. Now, do you have all twenty three, all twenty two days to work on this and get results in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's the, plenty the, of time. That's. Come on, Jan, what are you crying about? That's plenty of time. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's as opposed to a few months. Well, sure. Yeah, it should be enough. It should be enough to get decent results. Yeah. And everybody, everybody's fighting under the same problem, too, right? So at least it's fair. Yeah. Sure. That's Unless also you're... one thing Torsten said. This competition is a lot more about uh, the optimizations, a lot more even grounds for the different teams. It's a level playing field because, I mean, you guys would come in with 12 GPUs and there were teams out there that had eight maybe or six or something or, or even none. some that had none, which I don't get that. But um, so, yeah, it is, a, it is a much more level playing field. And so you guys have to rise to the top, right? That's what we're aiming for. <laughs> Yeah, you don't, you're not all nodding your heads. <laughs> you should all be out there just primed to go after this because you, your team has done pretty well in your first couple of outings. I mean, you've got a reputation to uphold. Oh, yes. that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine the things that Hussein's going to do to you if you don't? Well, wow. He's also in lockdown. I hope that he doesn't get to us. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll, he'll find a way. Hussein is, is an unstoppable force. He'll come up through your plumbing to yell at you. He'll use the tunnels. He'll, yeah, he'll find you. You can't avoid him forever. And let's so, hope our results are good enough so we don't need it. <laughs> that's the easy way out. Take the easy yeah. way out. And Torsten is probably not going to be happy if yeah. you guys make any obvious mistakes 
So oh, he definitely wants us to win. <laughs> he does. They're highly motivated, and I really like their spirit. They're just really great guys, but they, they care a lot about this, and that's fantastic. Okay. Well, this is good. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. And we will check back in with you as the competition continues. Cluster strong. Stay safe. But win, too. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Yes, of course. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. And there we go. It's as simple and quick as that once Jin Fen gets logged in. <laughs> <laughs> so we are all set guys uh thanks a lot for the time i appreciate it work hard um and we will talk to you later on okay okay ending Perfect. it on this side talk to you soon bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. 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 bye.